All right. You knew we were going to open this hand when we left off yesterday. This is an 11 count. It's third chair. So let me just tell you, in, in real circumstances, at real bridge games, real tournaments, you would open this hand 100% of the time. Third seat is a seat we open light with. In best hand tournaments, you would pretty much, you would open this hand anywhere, anytime in a best hand tournament. But especially in real bridge and third seat, if you're not opening light in third seat, you're giving the opponents kind of an easy pathway to success against you more often than the other players are. That's all. Simple as that. Uh, let's see if they like the support double here. They do. All right. So here, uh, some players, some partnerships, uh, they, they do weird stuff here. Over a no trump over call, they might play um, some sort of penalty situation here. I think if you play support doubles, you should just play support doubles. So here we get to show three card spade support by doubling. We're going to do that. Partner now, okay. We buy two spades. So in a, in a uh, in a robot tournament where you're playing against a bunch of different players, this is usually a win because a lot of people miss support doubles, right? Which is fine. That you have to miss support doubles like a hundred times before you get them, right? So that's why it's fun to practice with the robots. But here we picked off a nice eight card spade fit at the two level. Super happy. They lead the three of diamonds. We have one play only. We know they're not leading away from the ace. Queen of clubs. Ugh. Yuck. We will cover. We will hope they lead a club, though. We want to shorten that position there. Wow, they're just getting... Look at these guys. This time we could have played the king for a guess, but it would have, clearly would have been wrong for that one. And now let's take the ace of diamonds. We are only in two, and this is a good thing for us. All right. This usually isn't bad, by the way, folks. Nah, we could have we could have roughed this as well, but it doesn't look like we would have had a great deal of success with that one. It looks like this one's oh good, we scored. All right, we'll play ace of spades. Look at how bad trumps were. My goodness, they had some they had some tricks to take elsewhere on this hand. Uh, look at do you see what just happens, guys? Well, this is a very good one to talk about after we uh, looked at board eight. They're doing a similar thing, right? They see that we have just led this towards our jack, and they're saying, yeah, I, I can take this, but I don't want to because I want you on lead. <laughs> Smart play, robots. And there you go. They'll take one of their big spades after this. And there's nothing we can really do about this. Down three, I think. Yuck. Down four, actually. All right, let's see what the opponents could have made on this one. Uh, I'm not sure. Ooh, this last one's going to be fun. All right. Interesting. We get to play two spades, and everything is wrong for us. In fact, look at that. The diamond lead, the robots leading away from aces. Whoa, that is nice. I, I'm not going to say I don't see the robots ever doing that, but it is a surprise when they do it, and I have to say well-timed on their part. Look at this. Great lead. Low diamond from them. Look at that sneaky robot play. And and here, just that play is enough to kind of get the ball rolling as far as getting the position they need to take more tricks, right? Club through our king. There goes that ace. And then the heart through our king. That one we can't get right. And then they get to score that. So here... Yeah. Bad, bad stuff, but I mean, I can't see the auction being that much different at the other table, to be honest. Right, what, what are they going to, unless they don't open our hand. And now, I, I mean, West, I'm going to be very interested to see board nine. Let's put it that way. I'm glad this is at the end. We just saw it, so we're going to get to see the results very soon. Um, yeah, let's, let's, uh, let's put a pin in this and come back to it. But we left something on the other screen here. Look at this hand. That is a nice hand with a lot of working cards. Club of spade, mm, weird spot. All right, we give it two hearts. All right, this is an opener's reverse. I would say our hand is, because partner bid one spade, I would say our hand is closer to this um, th than the 16 that we're looking at, right? Because Everything does appear to be working. The other choice is just three clubs, which is going to show our hand quite well. Um, I could go either way. I kind of like two hearts because it's going to keep it 
at a relatively low level and partner's going to have some options here so let's see what they do they just bid two spades I right, said so that th this is forcing what's three spades going to be that's a three card support so we'll just pattern our hand out a little bit and now partner's bidding three spades so yeah we'll kick it in Ooh. <laughs> no partner no all right this is the time we might think about lying to our partner. This is a really crucial spot. Oh, God. All right. So we kind of oversold for our reverse. I can't believe we're going through this on the last board. This is sick. All right. So, I mean, I don't know. We, I, we didn't oversell that much. This is a, this is a darn good hand. Uh, partner bid two spades, which is game forcing for their purposes. Uh, we bid three clubs, patterning our hand out, 18 to 22. Okay, we're still in that range. Three spades, yeah, lots of spades, still a partner, and we know that. Four spades, four no, whatever. Let's just let's just be honest. Show two with the queen. Let's hope that's enough. And it may be. Interesting stuff here. Okay. Okay. We need... We just need spades to break now. It would be amazing if we if we bookended a five ten, but then got back on the slam. Yeah, wow. Okay, rest are ours now. All right, we're gonna pitch those two clubs on the king queen. Sorry, the two diamonds in this hand. A little tired, guys. Sorry. <laughs> we're gonna pitch the two diamonds on the king queen of clubs, and uh, we're gonna draw that last round of trump now. The rest are ours. Those hearts are all good. And we will breathe a sigh of relief and get a plus 1430 on the card. And we will get our results right now. And let's see what those look like here. It takes a couple of seconds for them to spit it out. And then we'll look at the results screen afterwards. Come on. One time. Okay. Yeah. Pretty sound victory. Look at the crit. T good win here. Le interesting. Lots of similar stuff. They got board six right. Very happy about that. Let's jump into the results and get a, a better look at all these. So let's see. Boom. So uh, pretty solid victory for us here. Uh, I mean, obviously, we did get pretty lucky on board four, which we'll take a look at in a second. Uh, but this first one here, uh, the robot uh, looks like had a similar auction uh, to ours. In fact, the same auction, right? They they uh, responded two diamonds and then just bid four hearts. And we, we talked about this at the very beginning. Plus 510 doesn't mean you have to be in slam. It just means you took a lot of tricks, right? And maybe that's uh, that's a good spot here. We gained one trick just by beating, uh, beating diamonds. Uh, one extra trick. Basically, we got it two and they, they only got it one. Uh, and this one here, the robot was actually in three no trump. Uh, we would like to have tried to have played three no trump. I don't think we had, uh, we, we, we didn't get, whoa, what's going on with this result here? It's, it's weird. All the other results appear to be where, oh no, sorry. Every other result is going a little haywire here. Uh, maybe, maybe this needs time to load, but I think the robot might be upset about this score and it's not showing us the result. Uh, I would love to have seen how they got to play three, no Trump. Remember this was the hand where, um, we, we need a lot of help. And also they, they were down in three, no Trump. So I'm guessing they just lost all the spade tricks that, that they should have lost against three. No, we got to the contract that was able to make, but with the distribution and everything being perfect for us on this one, uh, three spades here. Uh, yeah, we, our opening bid got in our way. Watch this. We, we maybe predicted this. We, we opened a no Trump with only our 14 count. Look at what the robots did. Probably what we thought it was probably a Michael's cubit and then four spades. There it is. All right. Our opening bid gave us a bad score or gave us minus five imps, right? It was, it was a mistake as it turns out. And, and it's, it's mining for a good score, but it turns out to be a, a crucial losing five imps decision. If we just open a diamond, we have the same auction. We beat four spades. Whereas, you know, your fearless leader here opens three or so opens a no Trump. And then they only play three spades because again, East is like, okay, Partner doesn't have to be 5-5, five, five, knowing that they could be 5-4, I'm going to bid three spades. Whereas if it's the Michaels Q bid, they're going to say, hey, partner's 5-5, five, five. Right, I'm going to bid four. 
I know I have a 10 card fit. So mistake by Rob. Sorry, guys. Uh, this one, we were in three no. Uh, they were <laughs> they were in four hearts down too. Okay. We'll take that. Uh, how did they get the four hearts here? Interesting. We opened a heart, by the way. They bid a no trump. We bid two diamonds like we're supposed to, and then it went two spades, and, you know, we, we, we got to our game. But here, what did the robot do? Over two spades. Okay, they bid two no. And then it went three clubs, three spades, and then four hearts. Okay, uh, unlucky for them. But uh, luckily for us, we went plus three on that board. That's pretty good. And then the last board, you know, we were in six spades making, and they were in six spades going down. Uh, let's take a look at, at what their line of play was. I guess they're not. <laughs> Shame. The robots shamed themselves. They're like, I'm not going to show you what, how I played it, Rob. I'm just going to take my minus 17 and go home. Um, okay. I will take that as a no, robot. All right. No there. No bueno. And no here. Yeah. No no bueno on either of those boards. This is like, hey, you know, the robot said enough of this resulting. I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go back and practice till next week. Well, we will see you guys again next week. Hope you enjoyed uh, this episode and this series. Guys, just let me know. Uh, what you're thinking about this I, i've had a lot of good feedback so far so so uh anything you guys want to see i think i might do it just declare at some point or maybe i'll do that separately but having a lot of fun challenging this robot and teaching you guys as i go and certainly making the mistakes that uh, i'm due each week so here tactical error on on this board right board five we could have just cleaned up our 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 imp scores a little bit instead of going five uh, minus we could have gone even there and oh yeah i forgot to look two spades in the north down four what did the robot do here okay so they they just kind of let them play the entire hand they never opened our hand and they take a look at west they opened a heart it went a spade two clubs two no and they bailed which is pretty reasonable uh with knowing they kind of have a weird misfit and they got to play two no trump which us going minus 200 was still good enough for them to get two imps because they they could only go plus 150 with those east-west cards playing the contract. So those were our two suspect results. The rest were pretty good. So we'll try to do this again next week. Back to match points, and we will uh, change our strategies just slightly, but uh, still try to keep the winning streak going. It's four in a row. And uh, we will go for five next week. So thanks for joining us. Have a wonderful weekend. And don't join us for the weekend game. It's every weekend on Bridge Base. We have an eight-board robot tournament that you can play. Some of the best bridge players in the world will play alongside you, and you'll get your results stream right with them. I so hope you're enjoying everything you're seeing here on this channel and on BridgeLesson.com. Don't forget to join us in both places, guys. Take care.